Adwa is a town and Separat Verda in Tigray region, Ethiopia. It is best known as the community closest to the site of the 1896 Battle of Adwa, in which Ethiopian soldiers defeated Italian troops, thus being one of the few African nations to thwart European colonialism. Located in the Mahakilenor zone of the Tigray region, Adwa has a longitude and latitude of 14 degrees 10 and 38 degrees 54 a. 14.167 degrees north 38.900 degrees east, 14.167. 38.900 coordinates. 14 degrees 10 and 38 degrees 54. A. 14.167 degrees north 38.900 degrees east, 14.167. 38.900. And an elevation of 1907 meters. Adwar is surrounded by Adwa Verda. Adwar is home to several notable churches. Adwa Gabriel Bet, Adwa Nijist Sabha Hulatenya Dareja Timur Bet, and Adwa Salas Bet. Near Adwa is Abba Garima Monastery, founded in the 6th century by one of the nine saints and known for its 10th century gospels. Also nearby is the village of Freemona, which had been the base of the 16th century Jesuits sent to convert Ethiopia to Catholicism. According to Richard Pankhurst, Adwa derives its name from Adi Ava, village of the Ava. The Ava are a tribe that was mentioned in the anonymous monumentum Adulitanum that once stood at Adjulis. Francisco Alvarez records that the Portuguese diplomatic mission passed Adwa, which he called Houses of St. Michael, in August 1520. Despite this claim of antiquity, Adwa only acquired major importance following the establishment of a permanent capital at Gondar. As the traveller James Bruce noted, Adwa was situated on a piece of flat ground through which every body must go in their way from Gondar to the Red Sea. The person who controlled this plain could levy profitable tolls on the caravans which passed through. By 1700, it had become the residence for the governor of Tigray province and grew to overshadow the Bava the traditional seat of the Bahar Negus. As the most important town in northern Ethiopia, its market was important enough to need a Nagadras. The earliest known person to hold this office was the Greek immigrant Jani of Adwa, a brother of Petros, Chamberlain to Emperor Ioas I. Adwa was home to a small colony of Greek merchants into the 19th century. Because of its location on this major trade route, it is mentioned in the memoirs of numerous 19th century Europeans visiting Ethiopia. These include Arno and Antoine de Buddy, Henry Salt, Samuel Gobert, Mansfield Parkins, and Theophile Lefebvre. After the defeat and death of Ras Sabagadis in the Battle of Debra Abbey, its inhabitants fled Adwa for safety. The town was briefly held by Emperor Tevodros II in January 1860 who had marched from the south in response to the rebellion of age of Negus, who had burned then fled the town. Giacomo Naretti passed through Adwa in March 1879, after it had been devastated by a typhus epidemic. It had been reduced to a shadow of itself, having about 200 inhabitants. Its geographical importance has also led to Adwa's greatest importance as the site of the final battle of the First Italo-Ethiopian War where the Ethiopian emperor fought to defend Ethiopia's independence against Italy in 1896. Menelik led the Ethiopian army to a decisive victory against the Italians, which ensured an independent Ethiopia until the Italians invaded again in 1935. A large tree at the edge of the town was shown to visitors in the following years as the place where Emperor Menelik passed judgment on about 800 Eritrean Askaris captured in the battle. Eritrean battalions were part of the Italian colonial army, but the drumhead court martial that passed judgment on them did not recognize this, and condemned the prisoners to having their right hand and left foot cut off. Writing in the 1890s, Augustus B. Wilde described the Adwa market, held on Saturdays, as a large one with cattle of all sorts available for purchase. The Asmara Addis Ababa Telegraph Line constructed by the Italians in 1902-1904, passed through Adwa and had an office there. By 1905 it was considered the third largest town in Tigray. Telephone service reached Adwa by 1935.
but no phone numbers are listed for the town in 1954. On 6 October 1935 Italian forces entered Adwa. After two days of bombardment had shocked Ras Sayum Mengsha into a hasty retreat. Abandoning large stocks of food and other supplies, the Italian Gavinana division brought with them a stone monument in honor of the Italian soldiers who had fallen in 1896. This monument was erected immediately after their arrival and inaugurated on 15 October in the presence of General Emilio de Bono. The town had passed from Italian hands before 12 June 1941, when the newly arrived 34th Indian State Force Brigade set up a post office there. During the Voyane Rebellion, 6,000 of the territorial troops retreated to Adwa on the 22nd of September 1943. By 1958 Adwa was one of 27 places in Ethiopia ranked as first-class township. During the 1960s the town was not only an educational center but also an early focus for nationalist dissent, indicated by the fact that all three of the leaders of the Tigray